What is up everybody? Welcome back to the TRCBY show. Today we're doing Elyon and I finally got my Slayer yeah, up to item level 504. So at 500, I think 500 or 500 plus, you get another growth type of quest. So that growth type of quest will give you a scroll. The scroll will be... Uh, like you pick anything you want. So where is our scroll? There we go. So it's the skill attribute selection summoning scroll. And so I picked, of course, for the Slayer. And uh, let's just, you know, show where I'm at. There's, there's a lot of text over there. So let's just go over here real quick. So what gear am I running? I am running a dual set. So a two set piece of the sharp sense, which will give me the additional critical hit rate of 10%. And then I'm also running the legacy of swiftness why it's because of attack speed and you get that decreased cooldown by an additional 10 percent so this particular build is pretty fast i have a lot of acceleration so base acceleration speed i'm at 128 attack speed but with your ruins over here i believe it's under somewhere in the fate ruin so if you click on fate so when you dodge you get an additional attack speed of 30 percent so let's just do the dodge and now i have 158 percent attack speed for like five seconds right yeah so for five seconds i have 158 attack speed so let's just see what that actually looks like we're gonna pop over uh our skill so this is what it normally looks like with just I guess 128 attack speed so if I do a dodge or a shift dodge and you notice that it is quite fast it's much faster than of course the regular one once it is at base which is here so notice that slight delay in between but when I do a shift dodge it is pretty quick so let's just take a look at that again so 158 percent that goes with casting as well too so if i were to do a art of fencing just like that and then once it uh reloads again and it also is really nice to have a a dual art of fencing so the casting speed is faster but if i use this boom boom Ooh, another art of fencing and then another art of fencing right there and then on top of that if i went into a berserk mode with my tab skill and i do like a shift i am at 188 percent attack speed and what does that look like so let's do this it looks crazy sick fast so like super fast <laughs> like i like it but it is um yeah you're whirling all over the place so that is why I like the attack speed. Attack speed will give me additional uh, skill used during that time frame. So instead of doing like the basic, you know, speed normally of around 100%, I am doing almost twice as much if I am using my tab skill. So that's like 180% when I do go in rage and that's super quick. So that is the gear setup that I'm currently running. I am keeping my offhand set or my secondary weapon at a plus seven. I still have another slot. I've been breaking these and it's at 22.5% success rate, which is terrible. I've been using the three uh, plus stones at the very beginning for this particular one since it was it had a higher success rate already on it. So I was like, screw it, let's just do it. <laughs> screw it, let's do it. And I did. So that is why I have a seven instead of a six. So if you were wondering, so uh, let's take a look. I also have 40 assault, 33 fate. The 33 fate definitely does help you out with um, additional like um, benefits here as well too. So the assault, I am currently running this. It is assault accumulative for like fortune. So increase the power of all of my skills by 15. The higher the attack speed and frequency of the attacks, the more beneficial this effect 
he comes. I honestly don't know what that translates into raw power data, but I think I noticed some benefits. So the other one is increase the damage healing of the first hit by 20% every second. So every time you do a hit, that first hit is plus 20%. And I think that's pretty cool as well too. Then also here is the, uh, the slaughter assault one, which activates this sweeping through around you every three seconds upon entering combat. So this thing is pretty nice as well. It has a hundred percent chance to remove a barrier when sweeping through hits. And I think that's, uh, I'm going to have to try that out. Like that is, uh, that's very interesting. I haven't messed around with this too much, but, uh, I'm going to give that a go in a little bit, but yeah, we've been using this a little bit more than this. I'm just curious as to what, what does it really mean? Like barrier, does it like, uh, for PVE, like some bot, like mobs have like a shell or a shield as well too. Would that just break their entire barrier? I don't know, but we will find out maybe in another video, but, um, I'll save it at that for now. But so that is, uh, yeah, that is my gear stuff. So now we're going to get into the skill. As you guys can see, we are more or less a free to play player. We have spent zero dollars in this game. And the biggest limitation so far is inventory space. You have a lot of stuff here that's going on. This is just my personal inventory. And then, of course, this is a shared storage with your guys as well, too. And I have a horde load of things here. I need to get rid of some of these breaths. I need to get rid of, like, I don't know. I can't really get rid of these uh, reset scrolls because I'm saving them for something else. And, um, yeah, I don't really have much space at the moment. <sighs> Which is a bummer because you have to buy it. And it's like $30 for additional, like, inventory space in the game. Which is, like, um, something I'm not really looking forward to doing or spending. I may just because I do enjoy the game, but I don't want to. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just want to see if we are allowed to play the game with its limitation as a free to play player. So that is what we're running. Let's go into the skills. This particular skill, as you guys may have seen, it's a double art of like fencing skill. So we have the first one right here, which is number one, the art of fencing. It's a 10 second cooldown. But with all of our like uh, skill cooldown reduction, it's about like six point something or seven. Let's see, let's uh, let's hit that up. Uh, so it's eight point something. Let's uh, let's take a look at that again. Maybe I'll slow it down. Maybe so it's like nine seconds, I guess. So there's a nine second reduction that we have. Um. So that is the 10%, I guess, right? So that's the 10% reduction, but we also have another art of fencing, which is here. So if we do this, it links into here, and then we can just pop another one as well too. So how do we do that? Let's press K and find out. So the half moon slash, the very last one, when performing fifth attack of half moon slash, it'll release the energy of art of fencing so that's what makes it possible so utilizing it's the the last swing will proc the art of fencing as well too and there is an internal cooldown for this one and they are independent of each other so it's like the same nine second cooldown for both so if i were to use the half moon slash for example Let's just go ahead and do that. So if I use this, and then that goes up. So my fifth one, so if I do a fifth attack before the nine seconds, it doesn't proc it. So I have to wait, and about right now, there you go. So it does come up. So it has its own timer. So if you were to do a art of fencing from here, let's, uh, let's pop that up there, and then I wait halfway through maybe, and then I use another art of fencing over here, and then I uh, maybe pop this up and do another art of fencing here, and then I do another art of fencing here. So you could have a lot of art of fencing just rolling around you at any given time, and I think that's 
it does a lot of damage and that's your main pull so the other skill that we have is the wind cleave uh windstorm cleave so as you know this is the spin to win type of deal where you could spin like indefinitely if you have the hp build so this particular build is based on your imprint which is your dark magic so once you use your imprint you want to make sure that this is up as much as you can because it does base damage along with dark magic damage as well too so if you use that it just increases your attack like twice over so i would highly recommend if you're not using your imprint release make sure that you do there's multiple different forms of your imprint uh imprint release so right now we currently are at uh, 183. I'm using 180 right now with running the dual art of fencing with a half moon slash. And then we have the windstorm cleave, which is over here. And what that does is uh, you just keep on spinning forever until your HP goes down because it eats up 5% of your HP every time you use that particular skill. And then of course we have the art of fencing which is that eight uh, directional uh, flywheel that goes towards like everywhere then spins right back but then also you know however the art of fencing power is decreased by 60 percent just because there's just so many of it but being able to spin it twice essentially in a row works out very well and then i'm also just using a blood sword just for kicks just because i had additional uh I guess uh skill attribute points to allocate so that's what i'm currently running at and i am also using the blood moon it's another stun release like get out of jail free card type of deal so it's a shock removal so it removes all crowd control effects excluding silence keep that in mind so uh but yeah th i think that's actually really cool so if you're down stun airborne whatever it is you could just get out of it with this. So you have your regular space bar that pops up when you are stunned. You could shock yourself out. But then if you get stunned again, you could use your blood moon to get out of that again and hopefully get out of the way. So I'm also using just the voice slash basic just to move on out if I were to get, you know, stunned. It's a movement skill. What that looks like is here so just get out of the way a little bit it's very similar to like another dash but it doesn't use your stamina so it's just dashing out of the way with the void slash if i had more skill points i would definitely invest in the void slash triple triple is that uh you get to move three times like just to move out of the way and that's all you just want to like beat it like leave <laughs> like you know if you are getting like hit it's just it's nice to be able to get out and blood sword is just this it is a quick like uh missile range attack of blood magic so dark magic increase the duration of blood sword effect by 40 percent increases power of blood sword by 20 percent and it includes the continuous damage that it does so it's a dot so a damage over time and then of course we have our blood drain which uh it's kind of like the uh oh i need some hp because my skills drain my hp i just need a little bit back so we use the uh, blood drain on that and going to our mana tree so this particular mana tree is a magic based mana tree so right now we want all in the magical enhancement because our slayer is uh when we're using imprint is magic base it's dark magic base damage i know a lot of us uh, slayers are going down this particular route i've done it before your survivability is through the roof and you could essentially tank anything just by spinning all day long right here if you use the transcendence uh, of the drain enhancement which gives you a three percent life steal that three percent is significant because it keeps you alive enough to continuously spin so i do like this but you are getting more damage when you're using the magical enhancement um i guess tree this particular path so i do have a little bit more like uh skill points I, i'm not really sure where else i'm going to go with this my min max my max min could always use some bump up 
but uh, I'll think about like what to do next. But uh, that is this particular build. So we are level 45. We are, where are we? We're like halfway, a little bit more than halfway to 46. We've been grinding a little bit, but it does make grinding a lot easier with the dual art of fencing over here. And you just keep on moving, just like, you know, moving along and then uh, spinning along and killing some guys and then just tossing out another art of fencing, dodging out of the way, just keep on moving. And then, uh, yeah. You're just constantly moving and killing, and I think it's a it's a really fun build. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. And uh, that is it for this art of fencing, I guess dual art of fencing build. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy, and oh peace.